What is up, all you beautiful people? It is your boy Michael here with Playthroughs for you, bringing you another episode of Temtem, our Pokemon like MMORPG adventure. And we are hopefully going to uh, chase this man today and uh, hopefully figure out what the next progression in the storyline is. I've been really excited. <laughs> he's a he's a thief. He must have a lot of useful information. The plan is to still find the storm killers, right? Yes, yes, sure. I really want. Why? Why? We just explained to them that we're chasing a thief, and they want to fight us. Why can't they just let us go? You know? Why can't they just let us go? Let us have a good time. You know? It's all right though. <clears throat> we'll go ahead and switch here. Chain lightning is going to be real good here. For those of you that are new, welcome. I upload every day at 9.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So if you're looking for some hot new content on the daily, 100% a.m. your dude. So hit that subscribe button if you're interested in watching daily content. If not, <clears throat> well, then don't. That's up to you. All right. So Volarend is definitely going to get KO'd here. Hyperkinetic strike move was real cool. Really cool. Oh, it just knocked itself out. All right. Hopefully we can KO this Adoraboros here. This Electric Storm. Oh, well, Malflank is definitely KO'd. Unfortunate. As I had said before, we don't really have any revives because I'm not paying that much money for them. So... <clears throat> we have our Temescence of Isle. Fortnite. Okay. Oh, let's just go for it. Alright, well. This is going to be a little bit of an issue. Might just heal after this battle. <clears throat> and use Artemisence file. Oh, Electric Storm, I think. Sure. We're gonna freeze Tort Knight here. At half damage and half damage. Toxolotl will take a good amount of damage from this Electric Storm. Yep. Kazuma knocked himself out, though. It's okay. Toxic Ink on Osiara. Oh boy. <clears throat> let's bring in let's bring in our boy. Pyko. <laughs> uh oh. Alright, Toxolotl's gonna get KO'd here. Super effective, I was kinda hoping we just KO. All right, well, at least Pyko didn't take that much damage. We gonna level up? I mean, evolve? No, we're not gonna evolve. All right, Ice Shuriken and Smolder and Kiss them. <clears throat> yeah, I think we're definitely gonna use our Tumescence file here. It sucks to use it this early. Really does. That's all right. You're getting in our way. Wow, that is a huge Tem. Holy balls, what is that thing? That is a monster. Oh, we're gonna be fighting more people, aren't we? Maybe we should lead, maybe we should lead with uh, stuff that's like better. S There's a lot of electric type temps here. Actually, I think that's fine. Oh, it's Yuko and Yodo. That's a promising start. <laughs> he doesn't know his own name, how silly. <laughs> Actually, both of you. No, but let's be serious for a minute. I've seen your face before, right? Oh, I know. This guy reminds me of the Dojo Master of Kisawa. Got it wrong. That's the Dojo Master of Tuck. Aerosola, you mean. Oh, my gosh. These two. No. Your playthroughs. His friend, the Belsoto one. Dad says people become priests to forget who they are and become someone else. Maybe that's what this one did. 
Uh, I was doing something for this conversation. All right, let's just KO these nerds and get a move on. <clears throat> Is that the baby form of Sparzy? I've never seen that before. Smolzy? Oh my gosh, that is hilarious. Wow. <laughs> it looks so cute. It's probably gonna do like no damage. Yeah, it didn't do anything. Alright, another electric move. We're just gonna heal all this back up. So we just go for the same thing, huh? Double kick here. Let's see if the speed debuff matters or if we'll uh, continue on. Alright, cool. It did not matter. Now flank's almost 58. That's a new town. But I think that's in Evolve 4. All right, let's just focus here. Gotta go fast, Hoglet. Well, we did over half. Plasma Beam. That's a fire move. Thunder Strike. Oh, we'll heal back up some. Okay. Let's go with Beta Burst and Double Kick, I guess. <clears throat> Alright, so we KO that. Binary Flood. Okay, well, Kinu just got KO'd, which is really unfortunate. It's kind of hoping we go before, but that's alright. <clears throat> 58. Oh boy, there it is. That's the good stuff. Well done, Max. Why is he calling us Max? Max is dead. He's KO'd. He's done, though. Oh, it's another trainer, isn't it? I have one revive left. We'll use it. Alright. Oh, it's not a it's not a trainer? I'm chasing a fugitive. Am I a fugitive? What do they look like? Wait! Must have been that man! The one who came this way for a minute ago almost knocked me over. Didn't even stop to apologize. Which way did he go? He rock jumped right there. All right, cool. Wow, that is long. Woo! Oh, there he is. I'm too old to chase like some teenager. Hey, we caught you. You have nowhere to go. Well, I'm not going back to the clan. You can tell the general that. Over my dead body. Wait, I'm not with clan Belsoto. Stop it. Oh, I don't have skates. Skates. I knew I was going to need skates, and now what? Seems to be some sort of inn. Perhaps someone saw something? It's a long shot, but it's also my last shot. <laughs> you guys are totally drunk. <laughs> Thanks for nothing. <clears throat> What is this? Proudly serving some podkins for seven generations. <clears throat> okay, well, I used a revive for nothing. Which is fine, I guess. Guy's name is Big Boy Life. <laughs> what an animal. Alright, there's a nice little quest here. Hello. Everything alright? Yeah, sure, I'm, well, not really. My name's Hana, by the way. Just taking a break from work, away from the big city. I'm Playthroughs, Special Agent of the Congress. Wow, that's fancy. What are you doing out here on Royal Saponku, Special Agent? Oh wait, I shouldn't ask, right? It's probably secret business. You seem worried. I mean, okay. I don't like to trouble you with my problems or concerns or whatever. It's just my granddad. He's this grumpy old guy. I love him to bits. He was supposed to meet me here yesterday. He's very active. He likes traveling a lot, and my grandmother used to travel a lot. And now that she's dead... He didn't feel like traveling anymore, but we encouraged him to, you know, so he feels alive. I'm really happy that he's still doing it, not just staying at home, feeling the loss and being miserable. So I asked him to join me here, and he hasn't showed up yet. I'm starting to worry a bit. Where was he last seen? Last I heard from him, he was in Tukma. 
He and my granny loved to skate in the crystal ice fields in the lower city. He said in his letter he wanted to go there one last time to remember. He was supposed to catch the Neodio airship. <clears throat> what do you think happened? I have no idea. Something probably stupid, like he missed the airship or it was delayed. Or he forgot his glasses in one of those hotels that look all the same and he's still looking for them. I don't think he was in Kisawa then, you know, when that happened. He's probably okay. Could you go and see if you can locate him? I know it's a lot to ask, and it's probably for nothing. Just don't tell him I sent you, okay? He'll get grumpy if he thinks I was worried about him. I'm not some old sud who can't take care of himself. You know, old men. I'd start in Tukma. He was staying in the city, whatever it's called. That underground town? He said he wanted to go skating. I'll find him. Thank you so much for your help. It's a really big ass, so I appreciate it, playthroughs. Alright. Naoki. The food here is incredible. <laughs> I'm looking for a man from Nantos Labs. Ah, oh, there was a man here, just like uh, the guys from those labs a few minutes ago. He was sitting right in front of the sofas to my right. This lady, very elegant. What do they talk about? I have no idea. They were whispering. It seemed very urgent. The only thing I got was her name. Her name, I think? Sure, Atama. Wait, I've heard that before. That strange lady in the rice fields. She's part of the conspiracy? Is she working with Hamora? Is Clam Soto behind all of this? Sorry, what are you talking about? Oops, sorry. Sometimes I think out loud. Anyway, if you don't have any more questions, my food's getting cold. Yes, thank you. So this looks like a dead end. I can't chase Amora through the crystal field, and that Shuratama has vanished. At least I put an end to the digital uh, disappearances. Whoever's really behind all the stolen Temtem, they're not getting any more. Time to think of a new approach. And since I'm here, I might as well grab a cup of tea or something. Something tells me it's going to be a long investigation. A cup of lovely tea from the Ryokin resting removes the cold status condition and restores 40% of max stamina. Wow, that's actually pretty good. <clears throat> Nothing. Alright, well, we mentioned the max, and then... Is it just a... Oh. <laughs> so long. Alright, cool. Okay, so, we're pretty much at a dead end. I can try to go through here, but I can tell you right now, I'm not going to make it anyway. I come over here and rock hop, I guess. That's something. There's a question mark here. Oh, she's literally right here. Not many come this way, and that's why I like it, by the way. Why? It's easier to meditate when one is not immersed in the hubbub of people coming and going about their worldly business. If you have no further business with me, I'd be grateful. I need to ask you something. The Nudio Shrine has lost its power. It cannot lose what it never had. That is what I explained to those city folk of science, but what the heart does not accept, the ears cannot hear. Whatever power any place ever comes from is resident spirits. The cave was cherished abode for the ancestral electric spirits of Simpanku until they meddled with it. How would you like if a band of Temtem -tem broke into your house one day and decided it had human power and remodeled your home to suit its needs? See what you mean. It's only logical, you see. The spirits left when their shrine was modified, now they refuse to turn. I cannot fault them for that. They are in the right. How can we appease them? Again, I ask you the same. What would you have done to the home invaders if it was your home? Today, <laughs> apologize and leave. That would be ideal, but I know the city folk. They'll never let it go. So if you cannot make the pesky newcomers go, you have to at least settle on some agreement to coexist peacefully. First, an offering to forgive the offense. Then show of goodwill, if I know the spirits. What would be an adequate offering? Sake the spirits like Tipple, like anyone else. It's not the whole deal, but it would be a positive start. Show of what? A symbolic gesture, to show you appreciate them. And invite them back. Something that makes them understand that digital spirits aren't invaders, but friends. What all spirits love is a show of Temtem -tem power. That's their main form of expression. Show them digital Tem in action and they'll appreciate the digital Tems. Remember, first the offering, then the show. Alright, cool. Okay. Alright, we got some vital apples here. Can I get back? Yeah, I definitely can. Can't do anything else, though. Alright, so... Oh. There's a question mark in here now? Interesting. There wasn't one here before. Take a look at my menu. That's all I have, but whatever customer requests, as long as I have the ingredients for it. That's my policy. Even have customers? More than you would expect. Oh gosh, oops. Do you have sake? I do, but are you of legal age? I need an offering for the kami. 
Ah, that's a different matter. An offering for the spirits. Very well, I have a spare barrel. Just a minute. Here it is. The priests come from a particular kind of sake sometimes. My cousin makes it from the best rice in the region. Here. So we've got a barrel of sake. A small barrel of rice wine. A fitting offering. So if you guys have actually never had sake, it's actually pretty good. And a glass for the messenger, eh? No, thank you. All right, cool. The rice fields were back. Oh, the rice fields. All right, got to make our way back to town. I am going to use a super set here. Because I don't feel like running into stuff. All right. So we'll see what we can do back in town. It's starting to look like a lot of the quests that we're obtaining are going to have us travel outside of Sipanku now. So we have a Halzai. So I don't need another one of these. All right. We are so close. All right, cool. All right, we're back in town. Is there anything here? Yes. There's a dude here. But I don't particularly have good digital Temtem. So I'm not entirely sure that's something I'm going to do right now. I mean, maybe I could just have one and it'd be okay. Barrel of sake, why? That's my, my grandmother used to do when I was a kid. You know what? It might not be the most scientific solution, but I'm at my wit's end. Go ahead and try it if it works. And now for some exhibition battles. Yes, but remember, we want to mollify the spirits so they come back home. Don't do anything further to offend them, please. All right, so... Let's see what our strongest digital tem is. It's probably that one we captured. That I thought was water, but it isn't. Where's the thing? Oh, it's right over here. And I will replace it. Yeah, this one. Um. We'll do that. My assumption is whatever's in this cave, first of all, they're electric temps, so Kazuma's not going to be very good here. So, I feel like that's the best replacement. So, in we go. Digital Kami Shrine. No, no, no. We need to complete all the steps. Alright, so, wait. Do I actually... Oh, I have to have a full team of all digital time. All right, well, this is something that we will do later then. <clears throat> I wasn't expecting that. Didn't know that was going to be the shrine. Okay, cool. All right, well, then we'll put this back and head back out, I guess. All right. So here's what we're going to do. We've got some other things that we can do in the overworld. And I think we're going to head over to... Oh, I need to go up. I need to be on the upper level. What in the world? <laughs> wow. I need to go somewhere else. Let's go back to Dennis here. And take the Sirni back to this guy. We can actually bribe him now. And see what is uh, going on over here. See if we have anything else that we can turn in. Yep, we got a quest there. Still have that one there. And then down here. Oh, and here is the other one. All right. I, gosh, man, I never saw that before. <clears throat> Interesting. I wonder why I just didn't see that. All right. I have it. There you go. And it's signed. You must be kidding. By the Solaro, you're incredible. How am I going to repay for this? It's amazing. I don't know. I mean, money just wouldn't be enough. I know. This. It's the kimono I got from Sapanku when I was a kid. It used to belong to the previous Dojo Master. Please have it. Sensei robe. 
The attire of a respected master. Damage done with special melee techniques is increased by 25%. Wow, that is absolutely awesome. That is absolutely awesome. Let's snag our uh, Tem out of here. Oh, let's just get rid of that for now. Alright. Down the path we go. The Thalassian Cliffs. Gosh, it feels so long ago when I was here. It's so wild. You know? Seeing all these other tamers on their adventure. And I really hope at some point they make it so that you can have multiple files. I would I would love to have that. I think that would be really awesome. I've always been like a multiple file kind of person, you know. When it's come to doing things. Alright. All the way down here. Let's stop at this one house first. It's really neat because you actually don't have to follow quests to look at the question marks on the map. So I'm not really sure what the uh, idea behind just having the little quests on the side here other than to just potentially look at them. <clears throat> I do think it's neat. Alright, up here into the house we go. Hey, all of your children have are doing what they want to do. You did it! You've given my three kids a better future, and I don't even know what to say, playthroughs. Not even my wildest dreams that I think anyone could be so kind. Please accept these. Five wish you well coins. My children used to love trekking these things into the well to throw these, but now that they're grown up and off to bigger and better things, thanks to you. I'll never forget it, playthroughs. Thank you. Come for dinner, please. One day when they're back visiting their old mother. I don't really know what the wish you well coins are for. I remember looking it up one time, and then I just was like, oh, okay, cool. I'll have to check again. After this episode. <clears throat> Alright. Hopefully we can find this guy. While we're over here. Alright. We're in Turquesa now. So I don't have to worry about. Uh, getting a encounter. All right, here you go. Do you have my Cyrene or not? Here's your Cyrene. Ah, oh, this is quite a prize. Uh, I'm sure we'll make good use of it. I paid. Now where's Kali? Not here, Tamer. Too many years. Come see me at my shop. You have a shop? Yes, I do. I'm an artisan. I make the best homemade cabinets and dens. Find me at Malachite. It's the furniture shop up in the Thalassian Cliffs. It's very discreet. <sighs> All right. In the Thalassian Cliffs? All the way back up here. What a jerk. Alright, well, I guess it works, you know. At least he's gonna give us what we ask for, hopefully. I mean, he did tell us where it was. Actually, like, I'm pretty sure that was WIP content when I was originally playing through. So, did they give this a purpose now? It's pretty neat if they did. I don't really remember it being used. Because it was like legit in the trail. A pukey. I'll have to like double check and look. But if it's where I think it is, then yes. It was work in progress content. So I'm pretty excited that they're starting to put some of that stuff in the game. That's not where I need to go, correct? No, it is not. Alright. Okay, almost, oh, okay. Back in, back in Bristol de Mar for just a hot second. All right, let me make sure. Yeah, climb, 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 go up. All right, cool, we're good. I could be wrong. Maybe this wasn't work in progress content. I'm supposed to climb, right? Yep. Okay. I feel like it was, though. I 
100% was. Maybe? Oh, I could be wrong. <clears throat> oh, wow. <laughs> this is not what I was expecting. Give me one second. <laughs> oh, wow. This will be something I can take a screenshot of, so we'll be good to go. Ah, oh, Bell Soto, I should have suspected. The original, you mean? Or our homebrew version? You don't get to choose. Where is Ectly? The original, you mean? Oh my gosh. Okay. Uh, you're going to be. Let's just get this over with. Capture some. He knows something about Kaylee's whereabouts. <laughs> how how high leveled are these Thames going to be? Because I feel like we're a little further in the game than where we were supposed to be for this. Oh my lord. Wow. Well, we didn't KO either of them. That's fine. We're not going to need to heal. This is laughable. Very laughable. Kind of expected Bel Soto agents, to be completely honest with you. I'm not going to lie. Definitely expected it. Setting us up for an ambush here. No experience. Haha, <laughs> you fell for it like a complete idiot. Well, you guys lost, so... Watch out, he's tougher than we thought. Ha! We have a live one. You'll never... <laughs> you'll never learn. No stupid, I'm not actually... Oh, wow. What can you do, you know? What can you do? Just live and learn, you know? Live and learn. Alright, Ice Shear, Cannon, Goring on Platymus. It's a longish episode. Alright, well, we won't hit the Platymus, which is nice. I don't have to worry about OCR taking a fat hit. And the Mudger gets one hit as well. Still poisoned. <laughs> Mixing Galus. Alright. Let's just go for Tsunami and Double Kick. This Tem right here does not have good defense, so... It might actually just die to the Tsunami. I'm not entirely sure. Yeah, it did. Cool. Well, that was, uh, mirroring... Oh my gosh, it took some strange. Poor Osiara. Alright. You'll never find Kaylee. Oh, what? Get off me, get off me. Have your bloody friend and let me go. By the Solaro. Thank you, stranger. No problem. I'm Ectly, by the way. This is my shop. The nerve, of these, the nerve these thugs have. They've had me kidnapped in my own shop for days. Tell me the full story. So Kaylee is an old friend of mine. Works at Mysterial's Engineering. He's a specialist in island anchoring systems. You know, the things that make sure land pieces don't break away and get lost. Anyway, he often comes here to visit when he's on vacation. Last week he sent me a note. We went off to Syracuse for dinner and drinks. He was very excited about his new anchoring technique. Well, we talked and talked, drank a bit, and then we were heading out. The Sucks came out of nowhere and mugged us. They're Belsodos. Never heard of him. All right, they caught me, but Kaylee managed to slip away. They ran after him. I heard a splash, came back empty-handed. They interrogated me, asked me about Kaylee, then brought me here and kept me a prisoner in my own home. What did they want to know? Where Kaylee went, they were obsessed with finding him. I heard the leader say they had to send agents all around Dennis. That's when he came up with the idea of imprisoning me. Took my clothes and went to hang out in Sakura to see if he could catch Kaylee when he tried to get in touch with me again. The fools. Kaylee's too clever for them. He'd never fall for something so obvious. I must find your friend. Yes, please. He's alone and on the run. If they really have an eye on all Dennis, sooner or later they'll catch him. No idea what they want, but they seem a dangerous lot. Let me think. Heard a splash, so he jumped in the water. Now, I didn't see where he went. It was pitch black. But the current there flows towards flows westwards, and Kaylee is not a strong swimmer, so I reckon he must have ran ashore somewhere west of town. I'll find him. Wait, before you go, you save me. You deserve more than thanks. Let me see. They took most of my pants, sons. But why don't you keep that table over there? It's great quality. I insist. It's the very least I can do. So we got a Zader family dining table. So I feel like this is the quest line for um, the, uh, the house thing, if I remember correctly. 
All right, guys. Well, that is going to wrap it up for this episode. Thank you all so much for watching. I truly, truly appreciate it. Just want to give a special shout out to my patrons over at Patreon. You guys are absolutely amazing. Thank you all so much for your continued support. For the rest of you, whether it's watching, liking, commenting, subscribing, or sharing my content, any way that you all support the channel is truly appreciated. And until next time, I will see all you beautiful people later. Thanks so much for watching.